This is a quick video showing the enrolling process of the RE219 2GIG and Honeywell compatible home disaster sensor into a 2GIG GO control panel. Looking at the inside of our sensor we see a battery bucket, a tamper, an antenna, a terminal for having up to two of our wired moisture sensors, and here is where the temp element is. I will show you enrolling all three of the functions of the sensor, but only activate the functions you need in order to extend battery life and prevent RF pollution. First we will need to enter the system configuration by pressing the little go control icon on the bottom right hand side of the screen, enter the installer's code, and press the system configuration key. Select an RF sensor number of your choice, and the sensor type should be 08. Select equipment type 8, and enter the equipment code 0556. I press the down key until I'm able to enter a serial number, so I press the shift and learn key, and tamper the sensor. I confirm the serial number and press the down key and select loop 2 for the flood. Pressing the down key you can enter a sensor name of your choice and I can press the edit next sensor key. You can again enter a sensor number of your choice and set the sensor type to 08. Select equipment type 6 and enter equipment code 0556. I press the down key until I can again enter a serial number, and press the shift and learn key, and tamper the device. I confirm the serial number, press the down key, and select loop 3 for the freeze. Pressing the down key you can enter a sensor name of your choice, and I can press the edit next sensor key. Again enter a sensor number of your choice, and set the sensor type to 08. Select equipment type 10 and enter the equipment code 0708. I press the down key until I can again enter a serial number and press the shift and learn key and tamper the sensor. I confirm the serial number, press the down key and select loop 1 for overheat, and continuing pressing the down key will allow you to enter the sensor name of your choice, and you can save and exit the system configuration. I'm ready to test if the sensor enrolled in properly, so I take a wet napkin and apply it to the moisture sensor. To test the sensor, you can put it in the freezer for 7 minutes to test the freeze portion, and use a standard household hairdryer for 7 minutes to test the overheat portion. And this was the enrolling process of the RE219 2GIG and Honeywell compatible home disaster sensor into a 2GIG GO control panel.